Now let's have a look at different different system exceptions inside the code and see how do they actually throw an exception. So over here, uh, we are, the first type of exception is DML exception and let me tell you once again that when a DML exception uh, is thrown, whenever uh, you're trying to do any database operation or any, yeah, any database operation uh, which gets failed, that's the time when DML exception gets thrown and this is a simple code in which DML exception gets thrown and this is how you can catch it up. Uh, so in order to like, uh, I mean, declare the message uh, or declare the reason why this, why the insertion got failed, you can use the method d dot get message, which is basically a method of exception class uh, with the help of which we'll be able to get the answer that why actually this exception is thrown or you'll get more detail about this particular exception. Don't worry, we'll talk about all of these methods later on. But right now, first understand how a DML exception is thrown. Next uh, is list exception. Again, list exceptions are thrown whenever we try to access an access a element or access an element which is not actually present inside a list. So over here, we've created a list of uh, yeah string where we've got Aman, Ashish, and Deepika. And uh, inside this, uh, and, and in, over here, what we are trying to do is stlist.get0. We are trying to get the element at uh, first index or the zeroth index or on the first position. With get1, we'll get Ashish. With get2, we'll get Dipika. But with get3, we'll get a list exception. And why we'll get a list exception uh, because of this? Because there is no element on index 3, right? So this is index 0. This is one and this is two. There's no element uh, on index three. So that's why uh, this code will throw a list exception and which will be catched like this. That's all what it is. Next, we have got null pointer exception and here's a simple example for that. We have, again, the same example that we've been using from last three codes. Uh, integer a, b is equals to a into eight. Here we are trying to reference a variable which has got no value defined. So this will throw a null pointer exception uh, stating we are trying to get the value of uh, a which is null. Hence, whenever we try to dereference a variable which stores null, then Apex throws a null pointer exception uh, over here if you can't read it. We'll throw a null pointer exception if we are trying to get the value of a which will which is null. Hence, whenever we try to dereference a variable which stores null, then Apex throws a null pointer exception. That's what it is. Another example of null pointer exception is when we are trying to reference a list which is not declared. I list dot add three zero uh, thirty. Let's say so we have created a list of integer. It is only declared. It is not initialized up till now. And we are trying to call a method onto this particular list. So this will also throw a null pointer exception, right? Because this list doesn't refer to any of the uh, object or any of the list actually, any of the real list which we need to initialize. Another one, account ACC. So we have not initialized account ACC. Initialization goes on like this. If this would have been written over here, uh, like this statement wouldn't have uh, thrown an exception uh, or thrown a null pointer exception. But as this code is not written in here, this will throw a null pointer exception because we are trying to reference a field's value for a variable which is not initialized, right? So this will also throw a null pointer exception. And this is how we can catch it, this this is how we can catch it. Next, query exception. So whenever we'll try to uh, like query uh, or write down a query, which will return more than one record. Okay, so over here, let's see. Account A is equals to select name from account where name is equals to Disney. So in this case, the query is absolutely fine as long as there is a single account whose name is Disney uh, in the account object. So, but what if there are two accounts or more than two accounts uh, inside account object with the name Disney? So then this query will return uh, like a list of accounts instead of a single account. And in this particular situation, the code will return a query exception. Why? Because uh, this query will return more than one record, but we are assigning it to a single S object, hence it will throw a query exception. So yeah, that's what it is. Similarly, over here, uh, select name from account B where name is equals to any company. This will return no record and will throw a query exception. So whenever uh, we are trying to assign 
uh, a record or, or whenever we are uh, just uh, okay whenever we are just declaring a single uh, object onto the left hand side of a query uh, where a query might return more than one or zero records in both the situations it will return a query exception so that's what it is and this is again how we can catch the exception which will come over here next is s object exception uh, this this was something that was not written in that on that diagram but let's have a look of uh, what we what the, what, what I, when this exception will be the rule so over here we've written down the uh, written down a code which says this uh, list account acc list uh, select name from account and for all the accounts we are just printing number of employees so we are trying to access the field which is not there in the query right whenever we will try to access a field which is not present inside the query if there would have been number of employees in the query this statement this a dot number of employees wouldn't have thrown an exception but as long as it is not there when we'll execute this particular program this statement will throw a s object exception this is another type of uh, system defined exception so in order to catch this all what we need to write down is this right so yeah whenever you will try to access a field or a field's value which is not fetched in the query it will throw uh, an s object exception and if you will try to assign uh, like the output of a query inside a single uh, like single variable or a single uh, yeah on, uh, in a single variable where the output might have more than one or zero records in both of these situations it will throw a query exception so this is the basic difference between query exception and, and s object def, uh, exception so yeah that's what it is about uh, all of the different types of exceptions that we have in apex i hope you got it